Hello and welcome. My name is Israel, and in this video, we'll be talking about the business intelligence options for Fishbowl Inventory in 2018. For some of you, this is going to come up on your new video subscription alerts because ILC has taken a bit of a hiatus from developing videos. 2017 was a busy year for us, and we're now in a better position to have broader conversations with the Fishbowl Inventory community. And honestly, in 2017 and 2018, there's been lots of changes, so why not talk about them? So let's get started. Let's talk about business intelligence, right? What is it? Sounds like an oxymoron. I guarantee you it isn't, although in some cases it might seem as such. To me, and this is just pure opinion, business intelligence is a three-part process. And the first part is taking data and making some kind of decision with that, right? And we hope that with those decisions, uh, spur on specific kinds of outcomes that the business wants or that uh, internal teams need. And then those outcomes then turn out in some ways to some profit or to some uh, value that the customer, uh, that the company's now being able to deliver or minimizing cost, um, so on and so forth, more sustainability, more robustness in the business. Eventually we've got a particular outcome that we want and usually that'll improve the business and its bottom line. So what options actually do we have available in Fishbowl, right? Um, a lot of companies are going to be asking about this just from a, maybe they've been on Fishbowl for a long, uh, long number of years. Uh, some of them, some of the oldest customers I've been working with have been on Fishbowl for about eight years or more. And then maybe this conversation is best for customers who are new to Fishbowl or uh, interested in uh, looking at Fishbowl from a strategic point of view. It's like, is this going to be uh, the right fit for my company? So here's what we have. We have legacy reports. Now I say them legacy because um, the reality is Fishbowl is going to be changing the way that they approach reports. And this is a screenshot of the Fishbowl reports module. They use a technology called Jasper Reports, which requires a design uh, application called iReport. And uh, one of the biggest complaints about the, the platform and the solution has been that it takes a long time for anybody to be productive in the product. And Fishbowl is going to be responding to that. But generally what the legacy reports in Fishbowl are going to mean is uh, uh, prepared output page level re reports that may not be better suited for people who are more used to cells and columns and rows and want something a little more uh, raw. Fishbowl also has uh, something called the data module. Now the data module requires you to understand SQL. And that, and that requires you to also understand the Fishbowl database. Fishbowl does provide a data dictionary for the product and does provide a, actually a, a fair bit of tools for you to learn what the Fishbowl data has. It has a, a table structure that you can see inside the Fishbowl system, inside of the data module. It also has parameters so that people who are not familiar with editing uh, SQL syntax can actually just run a query and prompt some uh, parameters like a date range and then go on. The neat thing about the data module is that you'll be able to export that data to CSV or Excel and then schedule that when you need to. So it's a great little addition that came in uh, uh, in the mid of 2016 that we're all really happy to see um, and may uh, and I do encourage customers to take a look at that. Okay. Uh, people may also be interested in Excel. Now Excel has a feature called uh, ODBC queries and that's actually really cool for us as practitioners of business intelligence because we can put the data of Fishbowl, collect all the right places where that goes, and connect it with the business users who are more familiar with Excel to say, hey, we got all this great raw data, we can give you a tab on this sheet, go ahead and go crazy. Put in additional formulas, put in additional uh, pivot tables, other kind of analysis, share them with your team members, and the great thing is that they're refreshable. You can go in the product into Excel, into Excel and hit refresh my data and it will connect to the Fishbowl database and make that, uh, make that available. Uh, there's some limitations with that, there's some uh, pros and cons with that, but uh, most of the customers that I've shown how to connect Excel to the Fishbowl database it's a, honestly really, really cool. And we've been able to do that for a, a fair number of years. It became a little more popular in uh, 2016. But in 2017, with some of the uh, Fishbowl database changes, that became a lot more uh, accessible, along with the next thing we're going to talk about. Uh, 
Fishbowl can work with outside analytics uh, platforms like Power BI or Tableau. Here's a screenshot of uh, Power BI. And uh, it's actually pretty interesting. More and more uh, customers are talking about Power BI because I think Power BI is a little more um, marketing presence than maybe Tableau in this particular customer space. But really, both products are really good at connecting to the, uh, to the database that's in Fishbowl. Now, previously in Fishbowl 2016, that was using a database called Firebird. And now in 2017, 2018, we're using the more popular, more, um, uh, more recognizable database, MySQL. And MySQL experts are able, really easy to find. And getting them to learn the Fishbowl database isn't that hard. So, and getting the products that are already going to be connecting to a MySQL database are really easy to find now. So we're start, starting to see a little more resurgence, a little more openness for the, uh, for the Fishbowl MySQL background platform to find a little more cool tools to work with. And that's, and that's actually really, really great to see. And lastly, we have a, a new addition to the BI landscape for Fishbowl, and that's something called BI Script. Now, the plans with Fishbowl, as I understand, is to introduce BI Script as a development tool that goes along with the product. Now you don't have to install and maintain a separate application to write reports. You can use BI Script to do that inside of Fishbowl. Now, the big paradigm shift with BI Script is that instead of using um, a, uh, a report developer specific tool like iReport, which is um, uh, close, I would say, to Crystal Reports. Now we're using technologies that are a lot more, I would say, pedestrian. They're a lot more available to everybody, and they're at a, lo a level of complexity that is uh, more accessible to most businesses. As Fishbowl grows in its uh, global scope, um, it's going to be more and more important to work with people who have different skill levels, and those companies are going to really benefit from um, being able to throw somebody at Fishbowl and say, hey, can you write us some reports, and then be able to find somebody. Well, what BI Script is going to do is going to use HTML, CSS, and JavaScript in order to be able to build an output. And uh, about uh, Fishbowl 2015, and became a little more popular in 2016, Fishbowl's added in a browser component into its product. So it's a full browser that you're looking at. And that browser happens to be Chromium. And Chromium is the, the engine that's used by, uh, by Chrome to actually render, um, render web pages. So we've got this cool mix of, uh, of stodgy desktop technology and a mix of the cloud and browsers and things like that with pretty cool stuff like JavaScript libraries to design uh, interaction and graphs and works with that. Uh, so we're going to be seeing some um, more movement in the, P in, the, in the BI script to be able to create more dashboards, I feel. But also, I feel like it's going to be replacing the legacy report system in Fishbowl pretty soon. So we're expecting um, everybody in the marketplace, including customers who have uh, maybe web developers or team members who are very familiar with HTML, CSS, being able to lend that additional help in that area or that department of uh, business needs back to Fishbowl because it was never really available before. Okay. So let's talk about business intelligence but not at the tool level, but more at the strategic and tactical approach. Now, the reason why I'm talking about that is because when I work with companies, um, more often than not, the, the needs are more tactical, meaning I need to get this answer straight away. I need uh, to react to a question that I have, and I need to be able to get an answer as quickly as possible. That's usually the triage aspect of most of the consulting that my company will provide. And then there's another aspect of consulting where it's a lot more strategic. And I'm going to separate both of them here. In, in, in my mind, strategic, we're looking at the long term. We're looking at possibly being able to get multiple insights out of the effort of designing a particular solution. right? And we're also looking for being able to design something easily, meaning we're using the Fishbowl platform, we're using the data that we're getting from third parties, we're finding homes for that data, and we're making sure that we can keep that data pretty clean. The tactical is a lot more critical, as I mentioned before. We're more reactive. We're, we've got a very focused insight. We want to look for one answer. And honestly, that's what we're looking for is kind of like the speed of thought. right? As we continuously get answers to that, we're going to have new questions to ask. And we're going to be able to ask those questions, hopefully, pretty quickly. Now, how does that apply to the tool set? Now, some tools are better suited for 
two different aspects, and some of them are going to be a bit both, right? The legacy reports were definitely always going to be in the strategic aspect because you had to have planned time with a consultant, time with a resource to be able to get somebody to build your report. Not really at all helpful in a tactical need where you needed something that day. Fishbowl responded with a uh, data module where you could write queries and get answers. And if you could get somebody on the phone that could copy and paste and screen share a query, you can get answers pretty quickly. Then you could keep that. And then you could eventually transition that into a more strategic solution. Um, companies that are, are know that the answers in the visualizations that they're looking for aren't really capable inside of Fishbowl will then turn into um, you know, Excel, ODBC, because there's some visualization there, but also maybe Power BI and Tableau. Now Tableau kind of builds itself as a speed of thought kind of solution, but once you've gotten the data into it, that's a lot easier. So I'm going to more put that on the strategic end than more tactical. But once, you, if you have resources and you have people and you have um, uh, data to work with, then it becomes a lot more speed of thought, more tactical in nature. And then lastly, the uh, BI scripts. Now, BI scripts could be tactical because it's the people that you could find. You could start a lot easier, let me put it that way, with the, P, with the BI scripts. However, BI scripts will take time to mature and to develop into uh, consistent um, outputs. Um, that's one of the things that I'm probably most concerned about with anything new is how does this going to uh, change the way that we look and ask questions in the marketplace. And honestly, I think it's just going to be really, really positive and really, really good. So I, I, I'm really excited for the changes that Fishbowl's bringing onto the table with their new 2017, uh, excuse me, 2018.7 release. And we're, we're right behind them and being able to provide uh, solutions for all of the different technologies that they have in place. And uh, that concludes this video. So if you have any questions about uh, BI tools, BI solutions, queries, databases, uh, and maybe you, your needs are a little more tactical where you need an answer that day or you need something where you'd like to have it come out and review your uh, Fishbowl process or you're interested in Fishbowl and you want to talk to us about what else we could do with it that could apply to your business. Please give us a shout. Uh, our website is very simply uh, ilx.io. And uh, if you have any questions, please give us a shout on our contact page. Thanks and have a good day.